Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Bilogina and you are watching the daily stock market review by Tradimo. It's Thursday, April 18th. The S&P 500 index is trading above 2900 level. However, we can see that this week the bullish momentum has declined and the general overbought condition of the market didn't let the stock index get significantly higher. The fresh news include uh, the fact that U.S. retail sales jumped by the most since September 2017, unemployment claims declined, and uh, American market is awaiting the holiday weekend, which starts uh, from Friday. The general uh, environment for the market is also positive. The international news are good. China released some strong figures this week. The market turned optimistic about the trade deal between the United States and China. And the earnings season for the first quarter started uh, on a strong foot in America. That is also a good piece of news. Still, uh, some concerns at the market uh, remain and uh, the healthcare sector is uh, dragging the stock indexes to the downside and capping the advance you can see that at the chart of the united health group here there was a significant decline this week as american lawmakers uh, proposed some initiatives which will affect the sector and it looks like the stock will remain under pressure in the medium term as the situation remains unresolved. Other news include uh, the IPO of Pinterest. We can see that the first trading day was uh, more or less successful, although volatile. The company sell, sold 75 million shares uh, at the price of $19 each. So a decent results, although, of course, uh, the uh, position of the company remains challenging. It has to put a lot of effort in digital advertising and it has a lot of strong competitors that we will have to take into account. On the earnings front, uh, there were news from Travelers Company, which um, as you can see from the chart, showed good results. And well, uh, the general uptrend here will likely continue. Other stocks we had um, looked at before include Qualcomm. And here the stock remains in the positive uh, setup. Although it still faces resistance around uh, 8150, 82 area, there we have the resistance line, so further advance would be possible after that and in the meantime some mild correction is taking place here. Netflix managed to stay above the 50 week support uh, for now. However, uh, to regain strength, it needs to get above resistance. For now, everything at this daily chart points at the sideways uh, direction of the market. We can see that the price is spent a long time above the yellow line of 200 day moving average and below areas around 380. And that situation will likely continue in the upcoming days. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention and subscribe to Tradimo YouTube channel.